Hi guys, I'm in, and I thought it was about time that I did another 3D print update. So I've obviously been um, back printing and uh, back designing. I've released the the muscle car model, which I think went down uh, quite well. Um, I've designed another couple of things that are, are there or thereabouts for release, and uh, I've also been I've, I've printing other stuff. So anybody that follows me on on Twitter or Instagram will have seen that I've. Uh, given a lot of love to the, the master spool concept from Richard Horn, that's uh, Rich Rap 3D and this is the version 3, I've yet to print the version 4 but I will be doing uh, at some point, it's, it's really cool and it's, well, it's nice features like um, the, the slot through there for, for retaining the filament so that you actually don't waste any filament by putting it in there because it's you know, it's a nice smooth curve. It doesn't have any sharp bends in there, so that's uh, that's a really nice feature of it. There's uh, there's other features in it as well. So this is printed in two halves. Uh, they screw together. The refill slot on, and um, I, as you can see, I've I've kind of used a full spool of filament there, and absolutely no issues whatsoever. Um, this is the Das Filament Red PLA. So Das Filament uh, were one of the companies that picked up the baton and ran with it really early on so um, kudos to them and uh, not only kudos but I guess some of my, some of my hard earned money as well um, so as I say I've been trying out Das Filaments PLA uh, on the Master Spool and uh, I've, I've been really impressed with the quality of the of the filament for a start but also uh, how well the Master Spool concept works um, these refills as you can see there's a couple that I bought myself and that's uh, Tom's 3D Infinity Blue, so Tom Sandlandia, and uh, this is the metallic red, which which looks, you know, it's it's not dissimilar to the filament and pearl ruby red, which is obviously one of my favourite filaments. So that's never going to be a bad thing. And the price on, on these is is really good, to be honest. Uh, the issue was always um, because the uh, Das filaments is in Germany, you have to get things shipped over for me to the UK or elsewhere in the world. Um, Obviously, there's going to be a cost to that, and the 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 cost is really going to be dependent on the weight of it. Now, the traditional way is you're actually paying for packaging and uh, postage for the spool. So the spool is something that's you know not of much use, and uh, in this instance, you've already got the spool. You you can create another spool. You can print them yourselves, and the filament comes in the refill form and you just put that on there so you're not actually paying for you know a chunk of plastic that you're not going to use so obviously there's uh, there's environmental um, benefits to that as well so you know it's, it's reducing the uh, the waste plastic in the world so um, again another good thing so I, I think there are uh, you know there's an awful lot of advantages to it we've also seen lately um, Rich has, has also been showing off um, adapters so that you could put the protopasta uh, spools on there which is again another good thing another great company uh, great filament so um, I really hope that that standard takes off and, um, and carries on going from strength to strength uh, with more companies coming on board so that's really good I, as, as I say if, you, uh, if you've been following me on uh, social media you'll, you'll have seen me mentioning that before then as has become tradition in, in my videos, there must be a mention somewhere for Tom Jackson. And unusually, this isn't a mention for his phenomenal printing uh, in this case. If you haven't seen Tom's uh, printing, take a look at, uh, at Filament Frenzy on uh, Twitter and I'm prepared to be amazed. These are actually Tom's designs. So this one and this one, uh, Tom has decided to uh, to, to muscle in on the design territory and and this is what he's come up with he's come up with a range of pen pots um, and that's exactly what I'll use these for these are my favorite two out of the out of the set and this one's you can see there's a, a bit of a pattern on on that and this one's got nice facets all the way around it so um, I, I think that'll they work really well and I'm, I'm really pleased for, for Tom that he's, uh, he's, he's dipping his toe in the design uh, water and, uh, and enjoying it. Uh, one of the other things is kind of sat in here that I, I've been uh, doing a lot of on lately and that's the, the Magigoo. I've been looking at this and uh, trying it out and 
I've used it on various uh, things. So I've used it on glass. I use it at work on the on the Sigmax on the, the glass plate there, and it, it does a really good job of, uh, of sticking down on that. I've also used it with uh, flexible materials on the Prusa so that it doesn't fuse to the PEI and, and acts as a more of a, a release agent than, than making it stick. So overall, I've, I've been really impressed. Uh, in the UK, you can get this from Hawk 3D Proto, and uh, I will go into a bit more depth on this on, on another video okay so the last thing that I wanted to talk about this time was the the new fantastic uh, range of filament from my old favorite filamentum and that's the the pastel um, colors they are superb uh, up until this point, that the only real, the only company that I was aware of that really did pastels was uh, Pongo Store, uh, Pongo, and I think one of the things when I when I looked, one of the things missing from their range was a was a nice blue, and that that's a baby blue uh, from the Filamentum, so it's really nice. So I, as I said, I mean Filamentum are you know I make no bones about it; they are they're kind of my favourite uh, filament company, and. I was very lucky to uh, to have them send these uh, these filaments to me to uh, to try out, and so far, so uh, so really good. I'm really enjoying them. I will be printing a whole lot more um, in these colours. But there's the there's the baby blue, which I'm just trying to get it away. There you go. So I'm getting it away from the uh, the light enough. So the baby blue, the the mint, and the lilac, which I think is. I think it's the pick of the bunch. I like them all a lot, a lot, but I think that is the pick of the bunch. And so I printed 200% Robo Tommies because that has become um, be become something that I really enjoy uh, seeing. The uh, I, I had started printing the smaller ones, but then all of a sudden I, I, I ran one in a Vertigo Grey 200% and loved it. So I, I think this will now be a thing for me. I'll be printing uh, that in everything that I get. Um, I also printed another one of my. Um, Galactic British Empire playset models, with the, that's the Avenger, which in its original form was was an awful lot bigger than this and was Vertigo Grey, and that was the bad guy's uh, rocket, but I printed that again in the, the mint colour and uh, it just came out really nice. Uh, also in the mint was uh, one of my maker coins and that's really good. Uh, so I just really like the colour. And then these were um, the Kiji Designs. I'll put the links to uh, to these models because these bunnies are, are really nice, um, especially in time for Easter. So this is the, the same guy that makes all sorts of fantastic models, um, intricate, detailed models, and he, he produced these, which are just, just mega cute and just shows the versatility of the guy. So really nice. I'll put the link um, down in the, in the description. But again, I printed that in each of the colours, so the baby blue, the mint, and the, the lilac. So as I say, I, I've, I really love these colours, as is the norm on, on these videos. You you have to give the disclaimer, Filamentum did send me these um, filaments free of charge and uh, for me to play with, so I count myself very, very lucky because I absolutely love them. Um, they really are good, and I'll, be, I'll probably be designing something to... Uh, to print in these these colours as well, but there's you've seen all sorts of good prints. I mean, if you look at uh, Joe 3D Maker New Bar 3D MN, um, you will you will have seen uh, one of the fantastic egg, the the Nick Daimlo, the Bugman 140 um, wrapped egg, which looks absolutely amazing in these colours. He's also printed a load of of different eggs as well, and obviously Tom. Uh, Filament Frenzy is also printing up a storm with these colours as well. So, um, if you look out for for those, you'll uh, you'll not be disappointed, I would think. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. As usual, I would really appreciate it if you like the video. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, would be amazing. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys.